Hi everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner and I just wanted to share with you my latest uh, mixed media canvas that I just completed uh, this weekend. First of all, before I show it to you, I want to show you where my inspiration came from for this piece. I was searching through the internet for um, silhouettes of women's faces. And I was just searching through pictures and I, and I found this image. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's just a simple silhouette, but I loved all the swirlies coming out of her out of her hair. So that was my inspiration. And from that, I created this canvas. I hope you can see all the sparkle in that. Um, this one I did a little different. Um, the background is pretty much the same mixed media with texture paste and papers and sprays and um, I saw I think it was Finnebear did micro beads in um, gel medium so there's some of that on the corner there uh, spread around it and then this time instead of coloring all the elements that are in her hair. I have lots of um, silver jewelry so I just picked all my silver out and I put that on here along the edge are pieces of zoom in some are pieces of just broken chain um, necklace chain and also some of the bling, um, bling strands <coughs> chain that I have um, is all, all different types of chain coming out of her hair. Um, and what I did, I took, I took this image on the computer and I enlarged it till it was I, I had the face the size that I wanted to fit fit the canvas and then I cut it out just printed it on regular printer paper I cut it out this um, just her head because I wanted to keep the head as a, as a silhouette I traced that onto medium weight um, chipboard cut it out that was kind of difficult. Cutting, cutting detailed work out of chipboard is not easy. It's hard on the hands, but I did it. There were some some ragged edges, and I used some sandpaper to just to smooth out all the edges. I painted it with black gesso, and then f first I did the whole background, and once I had the background the way I wanted it. I glued on the silhouette of the head and then started laying all the all the pieces around. I actually did the the chain first. I started with the chain around the edge and then I filled in just to the point where the chain was kind of hanging off the edges. So I really love the way this turned out. Um, this is by far my my favorite piece so far um, one other thing I did before I glued the the head down I put used some um, white gelatos and just did kind of a highlight around the face so it would stand out a little bit more from the um, from the background I did that first because I was afraid if I glued it down the face down first and then tried to do the highlight around the edge I would get stuff on the face through this whole thing I was scared to death I would get glue strings on my face and ruin it so I was so careful to turn whatever I was gluing away from the face um, to, to keep that from happening I was just so afraid I would ruin this this face but I did it um, it came out great I love it I hope you love it too. I hope you give it a try and find some inspiration here. Um, and um, it's so much fun to do these mixed media pieces. I just love, love, love doing it. And I actually have enough silver 
just silver to do maybe one, maybe two more pieces. I have enough gold to do maybe four, four of these. I have so much jewelry um, accumulated. If you've seen those those um, plastic storage towers with like eight drawers, I have one of those filled with just broken jewelry pieces. So I have plenty of fodder for, for this. Well, I hope you like um, this quick video uh, and you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.